Ooh, can we make it to the village today? That's not really much of a question. I've seen how Cybathos works. Okay, the holy trinket says go this way. Go, we go this way. I've seen how Cybathos works. The holy trinket. <laughs> no, no, we can't. <laughs> hey, Jack. Hey, Lion. All three of you are terrible. <laughs> hey, Jules. I would be surprised. <laughs> All four of you are terrible. <laughs> Hello, Zorle. I don't think we've met, says Lion. I don't think so. It is impossible to reach the village. <laughs> the audience is actively terrible. And you've cultivated it. They have. They are free to form their own opinions. Oh, hey, you've a walk. Like, no, that was just texture. Wow, that was a very low resolution snow. Right? I don't think that was snow. I think that was just a sunspot. I think that was just the uh, game still loading in a little bit. Hey, look, a shrine. Yeah. And the village is beneath it. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm contractually obligated to poke fun at Cybathos. It's true. That doesn't speak for the rest of them. He gets paid and laughs. Actually, if you are where I think you are, you might get there via shortcut. Oh, no, we're definitely getting there via long cut. I think this is the short. Yes, I see it. Okay. It's just telling you that you're getting close. <laughs> Just so I won't forget. How is people? People is people. My mouth is super dry, but that's because we started using our dehumidifier again, because it's been getting bad lately. Ouch. Is this shiny? Okay, it's a tree branch. False alarm. You want to be difficult, but because Ithta took the route she did, you missed something important. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm, let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's my response to both of you. Oh, uh, we'll go back after we hit the village. Nope. Important thing, not necessary. Say, traveler. This is all not it, though. Oh. I didn't read the thing, no. Asking about the object hanging at my waist. Ah, yes, I see. A Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. You all? Oh, it was zooming in on me. I thought you had one too. She had one too. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our, late, our leader, Lady Impa. Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. It's only something that'll make your life easier. Alright, we'll make a stamp saying, oh, we have to go back this way. So somewhere between the purple and the yellow on that road is the... Is my assumption for what they're talking about. Mm. Like, is it 
going to make my life easier in the media hitting the village, or...? I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't actually remember. I'm asking anyways. I'm answering anyways. Nah. Your answer's not helpful. I never claimed to be helpful. In the game in general. Alright, we'll go back to it. Get the Villa Shrine first, probs. Yeah, that's basically what I was asking. Okay. It is a cool looking katana, though. Ha! <laughs> it's rare to see a young lad like you in a village like this. Ellipses. You aren't part of the Yiga clan, are you? Ellipses. Tell Nix what it is on Discord. I just took a crisp, and I ate it. Ha, I'm just pulling your leg. You look so serious, I couldn't help but goad you a bit. We call those who swear allegiance to Calamity Ganon the Yiga clan. They, well, let's just say they don't take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. It seems they're active again, ever since that big earthquake the other day. But don't worry, I don't think you're part of that awful Yiga clan. I can figure that much out just by looking at you. Please don't hold it against me. Here, take this in exchange. You get a pumpkin! Also be sure to check the area around the shrine in the forest. There will be some exploration. We don't need, like, everything pointed out. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Also, I probably should just... Not... Just so we don't have any mishaps. Mm. Business as usual. Observe the parameter and then close in. Wait, did you actually get to the village? I know, right? Within like the first few minutes. I was kind of surprised. I don't think that's the shrine I was looking at earlier. It's certainly not marked as it. Well, then it's another shrine to do. Definitely not the one marked. Oh, it is the one marked. At first it looked like it was it. Oh, so yeah. when you're in a village, the map is much more zoomed in. That's what was going on? Mm-hmm. Did we eventually agree on teleporting to shrines at villages? As well as the uh, towers? I don't really remember. Huh. I'm definitely not going to remember. Are you not getting that? I'm just waking up. Yes, I get that. It just seemed odd to open the shrine and then run away from it otherwise. They're sleeping. I'm not going to bother them. We're not going to the shrine yet, so we are. I vote yes and going back to this village is important. <laughs> you didn't agree on stream at the very least. Hmm. It was something that was brought up off stream for sure. It was discussed, but I don't think we ever came to an agreement. Can you grab those bows? Just, like, walking up to it without Magnesis active. Okay. I don't want to take their bows anyways. That's not the spirit of the adventurer. Raid everyone's homes. Take all their things. Hmm. Rumor Mill Volume 1. Who loves gossip more than a solid three mills a day? Tracy, of course. And anyone else reading this, I'm sure. Today's top gossip spot is the Lover's Pond. Legend says that those who find this pond are sure to also find their true love. Sounds worthwhile to me. Tracy's recommendation. Five stars. That might be a 
area of some port. Aw, oh, you're trying to find their true love. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. We exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary Collection. In fact, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. Oh, and we also buy anything you don't need, so just talk to me when you're ready. The Clary Collection, as in a high-end collection curated by me, Clary. But of course, I've personally selected each and every item in here using my flawless fashion sense. It's all highly recommended. Each item has its own unique features and abilities, so take a good look. So, a recommended utility set? <laughs> oh, I can't. Walk up to it outside of this discussion. Oh. <laughs> I would probably check out the stealth set, though. Isn't that lovely? It's a limited edition enchanted exclusive. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense, a small price for the extra stealth. It's fairly cheap. 600 for that, 700 for the chest guard, 500 for the stealth mask. Uh, we're saving up. So, 1800. Uh, That's you could. This set is. <laughs> so, it really is just, uh. You could probably sell off a fair number of monster parts. Hmm. How's our inventory space go? Uh, we're not going to be able to... Uh... I... I don't think you have limited inventory on armor and food and stuff. I think that's just, just for weapons and shields. Well, there's certainly more slots for that, but... I think it just adds more pages similar to oh, the wait, ingredients. Oh, wait, the shields, there's only one empty slot. Yes. Whereas it's okay. <laughs> and and cooked food is limited. Oh, is it? I didn't think cooked food was. Huh. Would we want to sell crystals? That's a trick question. Hmm. I mean, they do give you the most money, but while you've got very few early on, like maybe some of the amber, because you've got 22 amber. Mm. That would leave you with seven. Because yeah. they can be used for upgrade stuff later but i don't think you're anywhere near that at this point so you should still be able to get more before then amber drops like everywhere yeah amber does some of the other gems not necessarily i sold 200 the other day oh jeez Uh, you all are probably going to kill all of the small enemies we come across, right? Probably. So you see the horns and teeth, like, up two rows? Yeah. Probably just sell all of those. Okay. And that should get you a decent chunk. I was reminded of, yeah, they're common. You're going to get a lot uh, when I was playing through. So you can afford... How much money do you have? If you have at least 1,100, you can get two of the pieces. Hmm. Probably these two pieces. Which two? 
The bomb on top. You won't be able to afford that. Unless you sell a bit more. Hmm. You would need to break 1300 to get bottom and top. <laughs> I keep the tails. Yeah, definitely the tails. Uh Oh, you have like 50 key swings. If you sell... I've been using the four potions, so... Oh. Uh... So you're almost there. You could sell some of the guardian parts. <laughs> How much do the screws sell for? Uh, far left. 12 each. Don't want to sell those for sure. Uh, you'd have to sell six. And now you can afford the top and bottom. <laughs> sell dubious food on principle. No, 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 no. Dubious food, still good to eat. Don't want to waste food. I would have wanted this, but with our money. <laughs> you gonna go ahead and equip it, or? Uh... Yeah! Enchanted is open for business every day of the year. Oh my, look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, and you even have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Wait. Huh? A Sheikah Slate? Isn't that, like, an incredibly, incredible thing that only incredible people can have? Not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. I feel like we're meeting trying this. Hmm. I won't give up. If he is, if he finds anything out, he'll tell. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is you desire. Hope you have the principal's permission to sell dubious food on them. The principal of it. Yay! Now it won't be quite as much overkill when you die. Shut I in. Ack! Are you a guest? I suppose so. You, you scared me half to death. Well, the regular bet is 20 rupees, and the soft bet is 40 rupees, I guess. Uh... Nick knows I don't do good English. English are the hards, okay? The soft bed is stuffed with premium cuckoo feathers, or something, I think. Sleep on that, and, um, you know, you'll be more energized than usual. Uh... Well, the regular bed is 20. Take the regular bed! 
take the regular bed. Oh. Oh, okay. You'd sleep great, though. We have business. High spirits produce. Like, I keep putting you in strange places. Hi. Mm hmm? What's up? Me typing a response. Hello, weary traveler. Welcome to Kakariko Village. Here we are blessed with the protection of the goddess. That's why we have so many healthy, happy animals and an abundance of fine crops. My products are all locally grown, fresh, and seasonal. Truly, okay. Go on, grab one. Oh, or, or are you here for something else? Recommendations. Let me think. Well, everything I sell, really. But if you want specifics, there's always swift carrots. My master, my mister grows them. They put Kakariko Village on the map. Actually, to be honest, there's one other crop Kakariko is known for. Fortified pumpkins. I'd sell them here, but you see, my mister and the pumpkin farmer, they don't exactly get along. So if you want fortified pumpkins, you'll have to get some straight from Ulkin's patch. You need something else? Locally grown monster guts. English is indeed hard. It is very important. Im mm. I mean, technically not wrong. It is very important to communicate. Because it's everywhere. Okay, I think we've hit everywhere. Mm. Not there. The curious quiver. That sounds like Green Arrow's sidekick. Hey. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into the shop. Well, don't mind me. Take your time looking around. I do have to... I'll double check how much the arrows are uh, cost first. Twenty for a bundle of five. So it's a discount of five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but the curious quiver sounds like Green Arrow's sidekick. Mm. It looks like there's two bundles, so. Look at you with all those arrows. Can I recommend selling something? Right now? It's what Jack's saying. I God recommend. We don't need a sell yet though. Unless it'll get us up to like five hundred. You figured it out! Yay! Diamonds are easy to get later in the game, and you don't need till near the end. Mm. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? <gasps> Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Just doing your job. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. After regathering the apples, right? That was an offering. 
Such a waste. It was an offering. Such a waste. A man? Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Li Lin. Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. It's just bad. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa Pa Hi. Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. She is adorable. I know I should be able to say, be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting your return ever since I was little. Please, please hurry inside. If Paya were a dad, would he be Pa Paya? God damn it. Pa Pa Paya. So you're finally awake. This has been quite a long time, you know. I am much older now. But you remember me, don't you? No. Oh. What is the matter? You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I see, so you've lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Well, that no was super loud. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Nope. I didn't mean for it to be super loud. I just leaned in closer to the mic. Thought I spoke a bit lower. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, ah. Yeah. Uh, However. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> these words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. To explore the vicinity. Why? Because explore everything on site. Uh, that's a private diary, so not touching that. But it's funny. But it's a private diary. But it's funny. No. Oh. Hey, are you gonna disappoint the fans? If this is what the fans want, yes. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? No, not really. There was a time... Okay. Well, it is what it is. In any case, please return here once your heart remembers what your mind has forgotten. Ha! Yeah. Read everything. Sometimes you find out important need to know information. This is true. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. I'm not good on that, though. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Does that include trolling you by saying no? Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Uh, this is a synopsis, right? Because that's a hundred years. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero 
and the princess who carries the blood of the gods. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. I appreciate that it's actually voiced, so I don't have to read it out loud myself. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built Is that a bit better? Of autonomous weapons Let's go up a little bit more. The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional okay. skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. And we don't support communism. No. As the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh, mm. Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudanya controlled by Daruk of the Gorhans. The Divine Beast Va Meadow, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The Divine Beast Va Ruta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the Divine Beast Va Naboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Oh. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. <laughs> it seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you as your guide, and also your memory. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity.
You are Princess Zelda's only hope. And Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Aren't those dangerous words for side with us? Yes, very. Huh? Is something wrong? Do not tell me the steel has slipped from your spine. I realize you have just awoken. I'm not suggesting that you must defeat Calamity Ganon right this moment. For now, you should focus on getting that broken Sheikah slate fixed. Hurry to the research lab in Hateno Village. I just wanted to try earning the seeds. Oh. This, this is not the person you turned the seeds into. Apparently not. Hi. Must protect the heirloom. Apparently. Uh. So, shrine or double checking what was missed? Uh, well, you did say that we would check it out. Will you be able to guide us? The double checking what was missed? Yeah. Uh. I would say just follow the road. It's very straightforward. I don't remember details. I thought the DM would have elaborated. Jack told me what it was, not the specific location. Just follow the yellow sick toad. Follow <laughs> the yellow brick toad. <laughs> you missed. I'm where? Follow the yellow brick road. Ah, oh, Drake got first. Uh, not planning to equip the stealth stuff yet? Or... Not yet. Okay. Frog. Frog gone. There's a shiny on the other side of that tree. Hmm. Uh. I know, a very difficult puzzle to figure out there. You have forgotten to check around the shrine? Uh, she's gonna go back to the shrine after this I figured mm -hmm. good thing good thing things being bad for the environment hasn't been good to you I got a question for you kiddo are you much of a mountain climber I was back when I was your age that thing gets me going like the side of a treacherous cliff, daring me to climb it. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost a look. Ooh. If we turn the camera to the other side, does he have a uh, bruised eye? Uh. The only thing of those that you can afford, you already have a few of. You have five in your inventory. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Ooh. Or it might or, be the shadow. I, it might just be the shadow, yeah. Is that what they were telling me about? It might be. <laughs> Shalaka? Shalaka? Shalaka. You, you can see me? 
Shaloka? And how are you talking to me, silly boy? I could hear you. Shalaza! Shalaka! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Oh. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. Oh, hey, a tower in the background. I can't use my powers without them. So please, please get my maracas back for me. You want to mark the tower? <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, it didn't go off. <laughs> Just blow up the maracas. Yes, exactly. Me up when she's done bombing. I should probably go down there for those maracas. Oh, is it done? I heard a chime. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What were the other maracas? What, what other maracas? That the one in the back was using. None of them were using maracas. Probably not getting the apple. Probably not. Very unfortunate. I'm not sure how that happened. You can have the dust. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the dust. Uh, it was already beyond saving. Maracas. Shalakala! Those are... Those are my maracas! Please give them to me. Chalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Choco. If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. Hmm. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. Never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks. Shoko. But wait. You have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Shalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? Oh. Yeah, you choose which one of the three each time you do an upgrade.
Have fun. Da na 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 na. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry, I have to go. But I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Oh, I don't have enough. You do, but he has to go. Huh? I suppose I should tell you a little something about myself. My name is Estu, the most celebrated musician of Korok Forest. Shalakala la the word. Korok. <laughs> Korok Forest should be somewhere north of here. Grandpa told me, if you get lost, follow the Hylia River and continue north. That's what he said, and Grandpa is no liar. Oh, let's hear about the Korok seeds. Korok seeds come from the Korok children, and they're a little bit... Sorry, I blew up my voice singing. You want to talk some more? <laughs> He doesn't want to say anything bad about them. <laughs> Maybe. That's what it seems like. Should I just warp there? Well, Jules did vote yes, and I don't think anyone else voted either way. So I think, yeah, if it's going to be to, like, villages. Oh, yeah, I think it was to stables. Was it to stables? Yeah, towers and stables, I think. Hmm. So not to villages. Yeah. Should we just include villages with that? That might give you a little bit too much freedom, but... Eh. If it's giving too much freedom, then it's only villages or stables. Lion voted yes on it. Uh, take one, everyone. Villages or stables. I'm not going to do both. Have fun with this puzzle. Neither are we to do. Hey. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Eightfold blade. That's tough. Stables are pretty useful. Village, though, if I have to choose one. <laughs> yeah. Just keep mashing it until the flurry rush is done. Okay. Tutorial train. Yep. Stables would make the mine run much easier in terms of travel. Mm. I think it should be easy enough to get to stables from towers or villages if necessary. Villages just provide much more convenience for shops and whatnot. Is this supposed to be a parry? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. There are more staples than villages, is my point. Hmm. Wow, you killed your trainer. You've done well. Now proceed. I'm thinking we should go with villages then. Uh, the did point you... was to restrict travel options. Did you want to drop something for the Guardian Sword? Or... I don't know offhand what all you have on you. Probably just 20. Which would be better than the 15 on the blade. So villages it is then, from the sound of it. Mm -hmm. What was the Guardian Sword? Okay. You conquering this test of strength subverts a prophecy. Excuse me. Tip, the challenge guardians do respawn. This is true. Uh, normally shrines don't respawn their stuff, I don't believe, in general. But shrines like this, where it's like, hey, fight the thing, they do respawn. So they are a source of weapons, if you ever need them. Okay. Uh, they respawn with the Blood Moon. But there's competing prophecies. I guess uh, as long as you cover all of your bases, you can't go wrong. And this is the one Lion was suggesting explore around the shrine in the forest up there. Or I guess following that path. It is going towards a yellow dot, at least. Oh, right. That's why. Out there was one this close. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am the great fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly. <laughs> What's this? You don't have enough rupees. How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. The smells of Scientology. <laughs> uh... I'll come back later.
So, what's the plan from here? Uh, first, going ahead and selling things. <laughs> Next, might want to keep in mind where the great fairies to help just in case because so many of them are out of the way. Hmm. If they're out of the way, then we can't really go for them. I'm trying to remember how out of the way they would end up being. Strong place. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? I broke it. It should have saved right after the uh, shrine, at least. I broke it, everyone. So, like, maybe missing having talked to the plant asking for rupees? She said she was a fairy, didn't she? Did she? Yeah, looked like a plant. With a hand. Aren't they connected to nature? Sometimes. That's more of a usually. Sometimes. He has her favorite toy in her mouth while screaming at me. <laughs> There's only one fairy out of the way, really. Hmm. Yay! Six whole hearts! But yeah, do you have something in mind for after selling? Well, we'll go back there. You figured for one heck of an archer. I'm head over heels for a fine slice of man with a bow. How about it? Why not take out that bow and show me something special? Ma? I like your attitude. All you gotta do is light the torches by the goddess statue. Think you're up for the challenge? Hmm. Really don't know about the goddess statue? It's by the spring in front of Lady Impa's home. I don't know who put it there, but it's been there forever. Oh. Out of a young hunk drawing a bow just makes my day. Hmm. Doors are hard. I, would, I was going to say, I'd be very careful because of the cuckoo there. Uh, get close enough, and I think you can just set it on fire by holding it there. Just don't shoot any of them. Oh, oh, it's you. What, what do you need? I saw that. It seems you caught me. You could never get along with... Or I could never get along with Steen. No matter how I tried. Even when we'd go hunting together, I'd slowly crouch down to get close to our prey. But he'd just charge and yelling, Offense is king! That's what he'd bellow. Annoyed the tar out of me. Needless to say, our prey always ran. On top of that, he just refuses to sell my pumpkins in his shop. But, my, what have I done? I'm just so mortified. Hmm. Being caught in the act makes me realize what I've become. As of today, I'll stop taking my anger out on the crops. I guess we saw him doing something to the crops. By the way, I thought we got more than... Just... More than just what? Just be there, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Like, I know I used to be on birds, but... You bought ten. The bundles were only bundles of five. You were in the shop this whole time. What a shot in the heart that was. My husband's a fine archer himself, but we're living apart right now. Ooh. This feeling. It's been so, so long. I'm so excited right now. There really was something special to see. In fact, here, a token of my thanks. I have 20 rupees. If only my husband hadn't become obsessed with cuckoos and kept up with his archery skills. If only... All right, double checking some chat. Uh, you can go to the Divine Beast before Hateno, which I did. I completed like at least one or two before going. Should we go sell one of uh, diamonds? I mean, Jack was suggesting selling them since you can get plenty later. <laughs> now the question is, do you want to sell a bit more to hit that hundred for the fairy? I already got the 100 for the fairy. I figured you might want to also use that 500 for the uh, stealth hat. We got the climbing hat. Okay. I mean, they did mention full set bonuses. She needs to come She does. <laughs> uh, is that actually the shrines at the villages or? Just the villagers. Say what? Is that shrines at the villages, or just like, the, does the village actually have a? No, a... you can't teleport straight to a village. It has to be like shrine at the village. Oh, okay. Uh, after this, I have to hit the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Actually, I probably should hit the bathroom. I could wait. Oh, blood moon. You seem calmer and quieter than a lot of the others. Thank you. All villages have train. Okay. Catch the fairies if you can. Might want to sneak up on them. Hmm. fairy will fly from your pouch and heal all your wounds the moment you lose your last heart. It's easily mistaken for a firefly at first, but it glows in the daylight as well as night. Ah, you've returned. Now, you have rubies for me, right? Hand them over, quickly. Okay, so I guess it did uh, save our conversation. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, uh, the power. It's overflowing. Uh, the fairies. That is impact a great fairy. The power of capitalism. Oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Hey, look, you have enough materials for those.
That's an understatement, Jules. These tights are so tight, they're invisible. More and more iffy. Won't that be something that's okay to spoil? Eh. Nah, you'll see. Hey, Thick Meow. Hey, my Thick Meow. Hey, look. It's a blood moon. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What's, uh... What's your plan now? The uh, Memory Village. Okay. The blood moon rises once again. Start moving me off there? Mm-hmm. Feel free to take care of any trees. While I'm late for a moment. Can do. Like this shrine right here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Lock mementos. Well, I guess let's just run straight for it. Remember that during Blood Moon, zombies can break down doors, so block the doors. Yep, a single brick of dirt. Best defense. Uh, I don't know if she wants to do the entirety of the memory quest. But at the very least, getting to the village. No. Oh, well. So, let's talk about today. Good question. I shouldn't have opened the news page. I mean, she has to speak to the director. Yeah, she does have to speak to... There are people there she needs to talk to. Yay, the Coblin Fang. Yep, I realize that now. Probably practically impossible without a bunch of uh, gear and potions on master mode. Hey look, I brute forced my way up. There we go. One to get up here. Is that one marked? I don't think it was. You can't just air them. The glowing check. Can you? Oh! I thought you had to catch them. Huh. That's my mistake. We bonk. Not really. Okay. We 
Uh, something Lion brought up while you were out. Doing the entirety of the memory quest? Probably not a great idea right now. Well, I was going to the village objective. Yeah. I mean, there's multiple main quests that you could set up right now. It's, uh... <laughs> Destroy Ganon. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's between mementos and divine beasts. Oh, do you want to back? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Hmm. Wee -wee -wee. I think it's down below in the crevasse. And then also to the right. Looks like well, it's here left now. <laughs> Lanayru Promenade. Promenade? I don't think you meant to go quite that far down. <laughs> no, I did not. Rip. Yeah, memories will just add hours of playtime. Yeah. Surprised you didn't just keep going to the left. You were much closer over there. It genuinely looked like it was closer to the right for me. I might have just been an ankle thing. I'm going to head home. Alright, thick meow. And see you around. Chosen thick meal. At work meeting now. Oh. Boo, work meetings. Hmm. Ah, good old blast fishing. <laughs> I'll find that shrine. Oh, we're buying Dwarvel. Oh, there's a shrine. Ooh, more luminous stone. I forget what exactly it's used for, but it is very good to have. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, the bug flew away. Never mind. I don't know if you noticed the question mark when you were close. Mm. I there... thought it was a luminous stone for some reason. There should be more rocks. <laughs> Special armor set mostly, I think. Or selling. I mean, it's definitely for an armor set. I just don't remember how much of it you need. Out of curiosity. Generally, we got a couple of fish that way. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Can't be this simple, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay.
<laughs> Yay, an opal. Hey, look, another chest. That's how I just use that. A Zora sword. With a power of 15. But it's extra durable. Of course, it's not very durable. Now you have a door that's open. I'm aware I deserve that. Okay. As long as you're aware. The door is open. Good job on solving the puzzle. Are you trying to get yourself stuck? Honestly, I thought you were trying to get yourself stuck in that room. Well, there's a exit shortcut, right? Uh, I think. Check map. All right, one moment. No, it doesn't say anything. I think you can still teleport out, but. Uh, well, so. Yeah. Okay. At the worst case scenario, I could save and load. <laughs> you want to see if it does let you get trapped in there? No. Okay. <laughs> See, isn't it a good thing I mentioned checking everywhere with water with uh magnesis? Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Oh, is it already? Oh, there's eight more minutes. A soldier's broadsword. <laughs> Have fun climbing back up. Could probably climb up easier to the right. Your other right. Oh, I have another idea. Okay. The timing just made it look um, questionable. I hope you understand. I guess. You like doing it the risky way, don't you? Mm. You can always see what's at the top of the waterfall that way. It is still working towards the uh, uh, quest marker. Surprisingly enough, waterfall water pushes you down. Surprisingly enough, waterfall water doesn't kill you. Why would it kill you? It's just water. It's a particularly heavy force of water. It's okay, you're rather dense. You're fine. There goes that progress. <laughs> Shall we go with an attempt was made and go back up a normal way, or...? I could do this pretty... pretty simply. So I upgrade stamina first. Yeah, that's not happening. That does sound pretty bad, Jules. It does? Yeah, I agree. 
Would it not be easier to keep uh, going in the one direction until you reach the other side of the waterfall? So you're not re. No. I was gonna say, so you're not readjusting the camera as much. Yeah, but I like staying near this side in case I need to catch myself. yourself won't do too much now. Not with it raining. Kind of made it. At least you're onto the easier part. Potentially try to go ahead and get on some land, kind of as a save point. You're escaping liquid ice by creating solid water. Manipulating two rare forms. Is that the tower I marked? Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you got one. Why are you going away from the... Mm. Walk ah. here on the mountain. Fair enough. I'm not going to shoot the fox. Why not? That's crazy. That's going to get me killed. No, it won't. Shooting cuckoos will get you killed. No, that will get Link killed. Shooting a fox is going to get me killed. No, it won't. I don't trust a troll dragon. Ithray will understand that it's in the confines of the game. Not risking it. Something, something, going out of the way, etc., etc. Ah, uh. just smack it. Now oh, the woman of durability near. Is there really nothing here? Huh? Oh! Uh, see how much damage you do with the lower bow, I would probably say. Oh, actually with how few arrows. Ew. By the way, he has a weapon now. I'm aware. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna 
gonna step on you again. Good thing you had that fairy. Okay, taking another nap. Can you blame me for taking the safe option after all that help? But I suggest shooting it in the eye with your bow and then hitting it. Not if it's covering it like that. Correct. Not if it's covering it like that. I tried. Okay, going back to nap. It is pretty neat, isn't it? I'm still not trying uh, with the fifth ray. Besides, is it a three not itself? There's gonna be a lot of wood to collect after this, isn't there? Sorry, did you say something? All I keep hearing is bomb explosion. I was talking about the wood that he left behind. Mm. Yep. Isn't it supposed to be, uh. I don't know. That part of this. If I didn't run out of arrows, I would have kept trying to shoot it. You didn't run out of arrows. Okay, you ran out of standard arrows. You have other arrows.
Like, that's why I keep zoning out. The answer to everything seems to be bombs. That was just to get the whole I, I know, I get that. Maybe rephrase your answers to all things combat seems to be bombs. I have to say. I'm going to try and sell three boxes. Uh, I guess that encounter was the big draw on this mountain top. Maybe. I... Actually, there's a lot more on this mountain than I thought. for if I could ask. Uh I'm going to hit the tower on the way to the village. Okay. Oh skeleton. And then you uh get get eye on anyways. Mm-hmm. Uh, bye everybody. What's it? Oh. It, it's an arm. Is there anything I want? To do special far. And he's just another melee weapon. Mm. I um, wouldn't want to get going around it in her pack. How far they said by flying? Was there a bot to cook from? Couple line right above the buy. Oh no, a couple lines above the buy. Fire can be used to create updrafts to glide in grassy areas. Oh, I missed that. Also for the bot, I well, to you made Jack. Yeah. 
I'm starting to wonder if she's doing something wrong here. Not every grass is gonna have stuff. It's just the uh, ants been putting in a lot of grass. I don't feel as bad about cutting flowers. That was supposed to get you towards the tower. Alright. The tower's behind you. To the oh. left. Up. Oh! Oh. Uh. I am Feels like she shouldn't have been so intimidated. An encounter without bombs. They do exist. Welcome back. Welcome back, Tech Mia. Just got to get it like Mach 3 for eating up. Jeez. Oh. Gotta love people who do that. Have no idea what safe driving distance is. This will be a solid tower to have with how high up it's placed. Mm-hmm. It's covered in brambles. Yep. It's a house in our neighborhood that everyone hates who lives there. <laughs> Color me not surprised. Oh, you could have jumped up. Starting from scratch. Well, at least you know when you get close, it's a good time to jump up. Mm -hmm. Stamina food overrated. I was actually going to use stamina food, but she ran out a little too fast. Nah, you don't need no stinking stamina food. Okay. 
think you can jump up right there. Probably do two jumps right now and then climb to that ledge. Yeah, that doesn't feel safe. Are there so many brambles? You'll want to climb to the right still. Oh, you might want to take a stop there to recover stamina. There you go. You should easily be able to make it the rest of the way there. make some stamina food for myself. <laughs> I feel like if you're hungry, you've got some that you need to help food. I don't know, we'll get speech patterns down someday. <laughs> See the village from here. Good luck getting to it in a single glide, though. That's probably not happening. I would say when you're low on stamina, mm -hmm. not completely out, put the glider away and pull it back out when you're closer to the ground. Yep. Probably here. But again, when you're low but not completely out. I um did not know that sprint was the uh, put away button for glide. Ah. Okay. Looking for the shrine? Mm-hmm. It'll beep louder if you're walking towards it. So, the way you were going. Hey, look at that. There it is. you be on your way you suspicious man mm hmm you certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us Hylians are generally good folk so sorry for getting all worked up that is I don't stop touching this one you're free to go we're just a waypoint on your winding road huh ah the life of a traveler but you can get most things you need at the general store and the inn is just back there I am is definitely not touching this one Oh, hey, Traveler. What's going on? Are you lost? Where are you looking to go? Oh, a very strange place, huh? Only one place you could mean. The easternmost structure in this village, at the top of the hill. Yep, you mean the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab, right? Its director does research there every day. 
Supposedly to help keep us all safe, but who knows what that means. That director doesn't like kids all that much, so I hear the village tykes got cur get curious and snoop around a lot. You looking for anything else? A strange place, huh? That could mean a lot of... Oh wait, are you talking about our resident Mr. Toothy? I mean, his shop's not called that. I think only I call him that. He runs the dye shop near the bridge. He is weird. Yeah, his real name is Sage, and he's definitely a master of dyeing clothes. But he's also a master of weirding me out. Mission open the lab is a pain. Surprisingly, the mundane villager house doesn't have anything unique or interesting. Surprising that. <laughs> hey, this is private property here. Don't make me call uh, someone. I'm sorry, that wasn't very nice of me at all. You're not a weirdo. I can tell. Probably a great person to talk to, not really. Oh no, there I go again, just talking with no purpose. I get carried away and just don't know when to quit. It really drives my husband crazy when I just can't find my point. I guess you just go somewhere else, please. Sorry for speaking so harshly. Please enjoy this apology egg. Did she just offer us an egg in these trying times? She did. Huh. Wooden mob, the mightiest weapon I am gonna ask for. The hot footed frog, the most nutritious meal I could ask for. The high tail lizard. The speediest meal you could ask for. Nah, it's just a lizard. The door! The most frightening encounter Tyon has uh, encountered. There's just nothing in these houses, is there? Pretty much. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fun to run, fun fun. I love to run. I love talking. Ask me a question. <clears throat> I love my mommy. But my mommy, she's always talking with her friend. I'm not supposed to interrupt them. The only way I've been able to talk to her when she's with her friend is to sneak up from behind. I like catching bugs. Shiny bugs. Crouch down and quietly approach the bug. If you do that, you'll catch the bug. Want shiny jewels, shiny money, love. Huh, mister? You have diamond? Sell it, be rich. Bye bye. Oi. Hey, hey mister, did you come from the big wide world? You look like you're good with a bow and swords. You must be pretty strong. Are you strong or what? But you can use all sorts of different weapons, right? So, do you want to help a kid's dream come true? My gramps is dead now, but when he was alive, he loved weapons. Though he never got to see all the ones he wanted. So you bring me weapons and show them to me, and then I can tell my gramps about them when I meet him again. Oh. Yeah, I knew you'd do it. Hmm, where should we start? Have you heard of the Traveler's Sword? Yeah. I've seen it in books, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. This won't be a no from me. Hmm. Will someone please deal with the monsters at Hetzeno Beach? Uh. 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 
Hey, Captain Snoop, you want to get out of my personal space or what? Ever heard of the concept of a private conversation? I'm trying to have a decent gossip here. I don't need you. Now go away. Oh, well, that's no way she's sneaking up on them now. Why would you talk to them when you're just trying to overhear them? Oh. I thought she was supposed to sneak up and then talk to them. Listen. Oh, that reminds me. My little one was gabbing about something interesting the other day. Apparently a young girl was seen going in and out of the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Oh, weird. Think they adopted or something? But the director just doesn't seem the adopting type, you know? I just have to wonder if the girl is actually... No, that can't be. A robot? An experiment? Don't leave Ion hanging. An ignored shrine? Okay, okay, I've got this. Greeting time. You're a customer, right? Hey. Han, it's a customer! Looks like he's hungry to have his clothes dyed. I'll leave it to you. Yeah, yeah, you're a customer. I get it. If you want to get your clothes dyed, pop inside and talk to my husband. Trust me, you can't miss him. Where is he? I only can't find him. Yeah, where is Mr. Toothy? <laughs> Welcome. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Hugh, do you do? Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up to the color of your choosing. I love the fact that someone so young is so interested in our unique Hateno dyes. It is indeed part of my duty to keep the young people from losing their interest in the tradition. Let me give you all the colorful details of how the dyeing works. Hateno dyeing is a traditional craft of Hateno Village. In days past, we'd use our own prepared dye ingredients. But these days, there are so many monsters about, that's difficult for us to gather ingredients. That's why we switched to the customer bringing us the dye ingredients, and in return, we have a small service charge. And the total price is just 20 rupees. So now, now, I'll dye your clothes to the color of your choosing for 20 rupees. That includes all consulting fees. Wonderful. Now go wait up there. I'll, be, I'll just be a minute. Get ready, because we're going to dye all the clothes you're wearing at once. Alright, choose your dye color or go ahead and change clothes. Choose five ingredients you'd like to use in your dye. Okay, then that'll be 20 rupees. I love that the chew jelly is still pulsing. Thanks for the business. Alright, now hold on to your britches. I don't is traumatized. But fancy. What a wonderful tone that is. I might try that out on one of my outfits. You look dashing. Do you find this palatable? If you'd like to do a redye, just let me know. I don't like this guy. Fun fact, chew jelly changes if you drop in snow. Hmm. I don't remember that. Uh the shrine is still getting ignored. You monster. Now it's here to see the sights. Checking everyone out today, too. Checking just never stops. Ever stayed at the Tanpu Inn? If not staying there, then I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Thought so. I know things have been peaceful recently. But the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure if any beauty- or I mean suspicious folks have come around here. Yeah, it is a tough job. I'm over here making it look easy. If you're lucky enough to stay at the Tanpu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tanpu Inn would want? 
Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. Can I just throw a bomb at him? No. You know. I am not a fan of this person. Good day. Best place to rest up in all of Hateno Village is Tanpu Inn. If you plan to stay, just talk to the clerk across the counter. Ion really doesn't want to do the side quest. I mean, you don't have to do the side quest just because you stay at the inn. True, but it's the only reason I could think of to stay at the inn right now. Not the missing health? Probably don't care for horsey facts, but that's all I've got to offer. So hold on to your... Well, you know. Secret to holding on to your horses, by the way, is to approach them quietly from behind and then hop on quick. Once you're on, give them a little pet to let them know you care. I am very happy to have horse facts. It might be a little hard to retrieve the jelly from lava. Amazing how much stamina you don't have when you're running before climbing the wall. Amazing. Hey, you. What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me. Just been on edge of with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hateno Beach to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. The sheep wrestlers. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Is there really a girl there? Oh. Safaro, have you seen this girl? Hey. The girl, she won't come out. Okay, left, shrine, then beach. Isn't the gay house builder here? Uh... I think eventually, yeah. I don't remember if they start here or not, though. Find the lanterns. Enter at your own risk. I am feels an overwhelming sense of danger. Flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. That was easy. <sighs> Hello. This is the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? The director is in the back. Terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Yeah. Hello. Imagine you've never been that. You've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? I need a drink. Gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Uh, we'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just had my drink. Oh. Is that that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? Yes, that thing is a Sheikah. There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? Thanks for the hydrate, Jack. Thank you for the hydrate. 
made it to two villages. I know, right? Never actually seen one in person. Villages or? Yes. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah. Uh, Magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb in Cryoness. And what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but hmm, strange. Doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. Don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name? <laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear. You must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakes from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Take the trash can over. Director. That Simon was the real, was the director. Listen, Miss Director, it's a real Sheikah slate. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Oh. Miss Pura oh, it happens to be right over there. As the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Ah, uh, that's been bamboozled for trusting people. Becky. Check it. I uh, does not so easily forgive this betrayal. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link. You see, the director may look like a young girl, but... Well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. <laughs> hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me. I don't have explosive surprises for you. Snappity snap. <laughs> anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. Just happy you're still in one piece. Mm. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember me, right? Mm. Really? Well... I'm so shocked, I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Alan still wants to bomb you. Even though, a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though, I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Resurrection. Despite all that, you still don't remember me. Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years in the Slumber of Restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Isn't that rather egotistical to assume? Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? I need to read fiber of your being. Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose it's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Well, I'm not so reading, aren't we? Probably. Here you are, after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. <laughs> and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. I does not have the courage. Nope, we have no Triforce of Courage. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Oh, hmm, I see, I see. Post Slumber of Restoration, the subject's verbal comprehension skills have somewhat atrophied. No, dude. <laughs> this is the really important bit. Okay. I appreciate the extra note there. Oh, really? Hmm. Post slumber of restoration, a subject has a tendency to give uncomfortable responses to questions. Noted. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. I don't enjoy screwing with her. Hey, listen. This is the first documented case of someone waking up from the slumber of restoration. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. 
Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Sure yep. is. Yep. Yes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. I knew you'd say that. All right then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? I still hates every fiber of your being. You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah slate for free, did you? Hmm. Post slumber of restoration. Subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. <laughs> Let I don't me... think that she's passive aggressive. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. A sweet little guidance stone. We'll start working once you do that. Allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh. I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh well. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. I have curiosity. Save before doing it. That won't work on me. And we'll try two bombs. I'll try. Where do you expect to go with that ladder? Oh. I appreciate they let you climb the ladder to nowhere, but... The ladder to nowhere. Never save. Never surrender. Sunshroom. So, where would you have to go to uh, get this blue flame? I am working on breaking into the ancient little girl's room. Did Which, you... in hindsight, sounds very bad. Yeah, we got the mission to get the blue flame. Oh, no, I mean, I remember. It's uh, also very much marked on the map. What you, why not just go all the way to the top? I was breaking into a room. You look like you were struggling very much with just opening a door. It made me honestly think the door couldn't be opened. So how much you were struggling. Uh, struggles with many things. Research diary for anti-aging rune. Classified for Kura's eyes only. Date. Yeah? Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid and our defense impenetrable. I don't think any part of this plan has the potential to work. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. Date. Eh? The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject of this experiment, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out what went awry. Anti-aging experimental trial day two. My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again and floor length. 
My wrinkles, once the deepest trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limit. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Anti-aging experimental trial day three. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simon's examination, I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s. 30 years old. I was around that age when I first was... Yeah, when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. The first thing I did was to try, yeah, was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was around 80 years old when that expansion was completed. I intend to bequeath this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of the Calamity that swallowed our Princess Zelda whole. Anti-aging experimental trial day 4. After today's routine physical, the results show that I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Link. So young, yet so courageous. He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. He was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah researchers have had a strong bond. Their pain is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Anti-aging experimental trial day 5. I awoke to something horrifying. A scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful youth that scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it's just a pimple. A big one. The results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really, what even? I can do it all by myself. In any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. Blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working. Well, or the guidance stone stopped working. Day 6. My age reversal has progressed further still. I now look and feel like a six-year-old. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where's that genius swordsman we placed in the slumber of restoration anyway? Wake up already. If he doesn't awaken soon, my future expansions for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be sure he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt Simon would help me. It'd be hard with my six-year-old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Day 7. This morning's exam results indicated that I am still age 6, same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti aging rune. I hope it will, anyway. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add more, add this feature to the Sheikah slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace outside has gone out. I sent Simon to the ancient furnace, but he was too clumsy and it was raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to do? My aunt has temptations of not of conveniently forgetting this quest.
Well, it does seem like the question I had is going to be left for next week. Hmm. Eh, I'll leave it for next week. Just a bunch of apples. And as we know, nobody likes apple. Are you trying to go to the shrine? That's not the shrine. Mm, this is a uh, furnace, isn't it? Yep. Technically, Ion is playing the hero. So unfortunately, the person that wanted to kick Link uh, will be helped. Hmm. Okay, so you see the thing right next to the tree, right? Mm -hmm. That will be important. You'll want to keep your eye out for those. Forget you can throw weapons. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, look, an item. Oh, it's the same rusty broadsword. Didn't even figure out where the next one was. You see it over there, right? Left. Hmm. That could boost speed. Minute thirty. What's the other one? Oh, also a minute thirty. Goes to the Olympics. Whoops. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, you tried. You don't have to throw it at it. You're just going to keep setting more things on fire. <laughs> and hurting yourself. I just figured it would be more efficient. As soon as she stopped setting things on fire, at least.
So yeah, this part isn't too bad. <laughs> the weapon's going to burn before I can reach that, can't, isn't it? Mm hmm. I don't have many regrets. It's now set as a travel gate. I don't know, I'll never return here. <laughs> I don't regret that she's not correct. Good morning. What do you need? Hey. The Tenno Ancient Tech Lab is where we Sheikah researchers study the scientific contributions of our ancestors. We aim to apply our findings to the world of today and to unravel the mystery of the shrines and divine beasts. I'm personally interested in exploring these entities from a geopolitical and structural engineering point of view. The potential of using modern methods to reconstruct and iterate upon the past is simply too... Oh, putting you to sleep, am I? Well, speaking in terms that may be of interest to you, to develop technology to effectively steal Ganon and, yeah, the infinite evil that has plagued Hyrule throughout time. We believe this can be achieved by studying and improving upon the creations of those who came before us. Is there anything else you need? The Sheikah Slate is a device that our Sheikah ancestors developed to bring peace and order to Hyrule. The runes contained in your Sheikah Slate are also something we Sheikah developed. I'm so relieved to know that you'll be using this device for the betterment of Hyrule, Link. If such a device fell into the hands of evil, I shudder to think what might happen. <laughs> Just wait for an evil altar. <laughs> Is there anything else you need? Just bad joke. <laughs> You read it, didn't you? Don't lie, I know just what's going on. I guess like you deserve to be punished. Switch on! All Sheikah Slate runes have now been deleted. I completely deleted the data on your Sheikah Slate. Go on, take a look. Gotcha! <laughs> Did you like my Guidance Stone impression? Superb, right? I don't want to throw a brat off the cliff. Hey, you actually did nudge her back. Pick it up and drop it again? Button. Hey, look at that. You only took half a heart of damage. Ion is not having this conversation. These defense upgrades from closing. Ion is not having this conversation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Now then, we'll take a look over there. Gunstone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> thank you. Ion still hates this one. Well then, let's go and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Thank you! Me and I snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Nah. <laughs> really? Aw, save one. Week, but that's okay. Okay, then. She can slay your pair underway. Dead in stone lock removed. Ooh. Now, let's do this thing. She can slay authenticated. Camera, Herald, Company, album, missing calls confirmed. Starting repair. Oh, 
is good. Clothes are good. And now you have a camera! Ooh. A rune has been added. <laughs> this is why we're not going for 100%. And has no interest in 100%. Good. And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, Album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, don't forget to let me see it. Put the, put the bomb right behind it. And then take a picture. <laughs> I mean, you can put it on the table and then take a picture from that angle, so that's behind her. <laughs> Did that one actually count as being of Kura? Yeah, I don't think that first one you took did. I think that the first one did. Hey, set that picture taken going? You get a cute picture of me with the camera? No, I okay. really wants to say this. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Let's see here, which one is it? <clears throat> you know, it's not a very good effort now, is it? When you take a picture, you must be sure to censor the subject. Got it? I on gave as much effort as merited. Okay, then. You'll, well, you'll just have to start over. Called it on not, it not counting. I on saw the little exclamation point and thought... It, it vanished before you actually took the picture. Mm. No good still? I think you got it there. Snap. How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? Did you get a good one this time? <clears throat> hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? Uh, it's Simon in the background. Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Uh, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, dawns on me that you are Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you ac accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. <sighs> oh, right. The lost memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. Please, no. Don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. No, I mean, this could be beneficial. I was disappointed that the person we bring materials to. <laughs> bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. The Akala... Danger tech lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Talk to her again. Can do it without going back to Impa. Yeah. Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's still up on the edge of Akala researching guardians. Haven't seen him in a hundred years, though. So who knows? Aha! I'm glad you asked. If you bring me back some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. 
You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. Three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs. You'll need three ancient cores to power up stasis. We're on the same page. Stop staring at me. Do you not want to power anything up? Can I turn it into Robbie? You don't know where Robbie is, and this could be beneficial. Um, hates every fiber of this creature's being. I think you should go see Impa first, but... Okay, oh, why don't we go okay. ahead and power up your Sheikah slate. Ancient materials! Ancient materials? The ancient materials are what the Guardians drop when you defeat them. Those materials are for Relios. <laughs> Understand? I might remember Robbie from the Akala Ancient Tech Lab collecting them there, too. Anyway, just think of it as community service or whatever. Kill some guardians and collect their ancient parts. Yahoo! Now, the next, in exchange for those ancient materials, I'll power up a rune on your Sheikah slate. So, which rune do you want to power up? Obviously, it's got to be the bomb. Unfortunately. Remote bomb power up time. Yahoo! For that, I'll need three ancient shafts. How does it change? If you power up your remote bombs, your blast will become more powerful and your reload time will decrease. Sweet deal, eh? So you're going to power up your remote bombs, right? So it'll be slightly less painful. Which is why you said no. Because you Checking want it to be more painful. They use different materials. Hans wants to hear what they do, though. You'll be able to detect the objects you take pictures of with your camera. Handy, eh? So you want to go ahead and power up the old Sheikah sensor, right? Okie doke. Kala is near Doom Mountain. Yep. Ion would go to Doom Mountain to avoid Kura. You'll be able to freeze more than just objects. You'll be able to target monsters, too. I don't think so would be useful, but Ion knows the system. I mean, again, they use different materials, so you could have just said yes. This is why I say you don't listen to me. You don't have the necessary materials. You need three ancient cores. Barely scraping by as is. Hint, hint. I thought that she had that. And I had the impression that he would only be able to upgrade one or two. Hmm. I was expecting more enthusiasm, but whatever. Okay then, remote bomb upgrade underway. No, you can upgrade all of them, as long as you have the materials. Hmm. Yeah. Ion had conflicting memories. That's why Ion got confused. Ion would wear clothes to avoid dealing with Pura. Also, Ion's already wearing clothes, so whatever. <laughs> My little guided stone did the trick, hee <laughs> hee. Doom Mountain requires more specific clothes, though. Ion does not care. Ion will never give in to Perot's demands.
Hmm. Hmm. What's up? Simon wants to see the sensor. And Simon is actually a decent person. I uh, need a stronger bomb. <laughs> Required the Sheikah sensor plus. That should really come in handy. That you can see things that you've captured with your camera. Sense things. Explaining won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sun shroom with the camera. There's one behind the left. I hope Ooh, one's grown back. Uh, get it out of your inventory and drop it. Camera rune. Camera rune. Hmm. I'm close to get you stuck. Were you able to take a picture of a sunshroom? Let me confirm. It seems like you got a picture of a sunshroom. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of the sunshroom. The Sheikah Sensor Plus will then be able to sense sunshrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. Seems like a nice opportunity to ask if you'd mind bringing me three sunshrooms. You can find sunshrooms growing in Retsum Forest, I believe. The Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it a snap. I'm sure, Simon. That has no problem with working with Simon. <laughs> stasis stuff. Not only does stasis stop objects from moving, but also stores can cut some force within the stopped matter. So if you freeze an object with this rune, try hitting it while it's frozen. Then when the stasis effect is ended, <laughs> you'll see. Crayonis isn't only for making co- oh. You can use oh. it to cut the line of sight of a guardian's search beam. I was saying, the not just for flying. If you hear a guardian go beep beep, quickly make some ice to hide behind. It's just common sense. So nothing of value comes from Pura. As per usual. About the Sheikah Sensor Plus it is a rune that expands the features of a normal Sheikah Sensor. It is able to, eh, able to detect any object that is listed in the Hyrule Compendium. Here's how it works. Open the Hyrule Compendium, select the map, Sheikah Sensor, Hyrule Compendium. Select the picture. Select target with sensor. Select target this. Do this and the Sheikah Sensor Plus will use a series of sounds to lead you to the object you want to detect. To detect shrines again, select map, Sheikah sensor, shrine. Stop detecting altogether, just select map, Sheikah sensor, all. Ah. Sheikah sensor, okay. I was just, uh, I was just going to zoom on this. Okay. Since it was stuff, well, everyone knew. Okay. Yeah. I was willing to say... Uh, obvious favoritism remarks, such as that Simon's advice was very helpful. Uh, so are we actually going to get the shrine done before the end of the stream? Mm. Sure. I'm up for taking care of a shrine. 
This is why I figured I wasn't going to have to ask my question until next week. Uh, just has to find the shrine. If you go back to the village. Probably, but stopping off at the top of this so you're not using up all your glide stamina. Hmm. Or not using up all your stamina on glide, I should say. Either way, you're still going in the right direction. Oh. Hey, you found it. Ha ha ha! You found it! How does anyone else get pictures? That's a good question. Oh, I might have to... Unless the controller's over there. Yeah, controller's right here. Hmm. Do you want me to do it? I was wondering why you wanted the controller. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I will have to speed run this. Nice catch. I totally did that on purpose. I obviously did not do that on purpose. I don't try. <laughs> nice. Well, you know what? It's close enough there. Oh. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you're getting creative with it. I what? was hoping to flick it. a strong impression that you drop it then flick it off but so far it's not working or you've just been doing it poorly you're trying to flip it up too early mm -hmm.
on my uh, road and everything. You got closer to the right idea, though. You want me to give it a go, or...? Um, I'm just trying to slow the last fight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to control this in a weird way. It's probably still up there. Yeah, there you go. Now the real question is, do you have it set up properly so you can get the chest? Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't see what you mean. Well, if you're gonna control oh. it, yeah. I don't realize that mistakes were made. <laughs> the other controller does just feel so much better, though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the puzzles that are, that are that style, this one is the hardest. I don't feel confident. It's not the way I solved it. I couldn't be bothered with the maze, so I actually just flipped it upside down. <laughs> just rolled it. Yeah. Like, I still did the flip thing, but instead of dealing with the walls... Yeah, you might want to tilt that a little bit further down. <laughs> um... Wants to try one more time. I'm to not have bothered. And just doesn't want to go back. Yeah. Huh. I don't think you for saving her from a gruel and grizzly fate. I don't know how else this will get done before the end of the stream. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. We. If I was more careful, I might have been able to stay on top of that. Oh, will this be fine? Hey. And our reward is. Concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. Sniper bow? Four. Oh, there is a four one, isn't there? I didn't even look at that row because I got so used to... Well, not. <laughs> Looks like this is the end of stream. Looks like this is the end of Link. I'm gonna jump off. I am um, also says suicide is not the answer. But you have to die to live. And does not live to die. Did he live yesterday? Essentially, no. Ah, okay. But. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we should actually be starting Battle Network 6 this weekend. Lunk would have just ran straight to Calamity again and fucked him up. Well, we're not Lunk. We're Link.
Cybethus was actively encouraged to not deal with Ganon. Not until you've done the Divine Beasts. Ion wants to go to Ganon and fuck him up. It's what the audience wants. Well, you know what? We do have another minute. I guess I will ask the question so you can set the course for next week. Mm hmm. Which would you prefer? Survivability or adventurability? Ion um, feels like another alter should answer this question. Why is that? Because Ion seems out of sync with Royce of Cybethos. Come on, pick one. Ion wants to know more details about these two choices. I'm leaving it vague for a reason. Ion understands that it is contesting it. Survivability or adventurability? <laughs> Adventure ability. Okay. You'd want this one first. What was survivability? Would it be, I believe, this one first. Huh? Oh, this will <laughs> be a thing. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, we should actually be starting Battle Network 6 uh, this weekend. Yay, we get to start it before the collection comes out. I think. Wait, when does the collection come out? Is that not till April? Oh, April. Yeah. Yay, we get to start it before the collection comes out. Yep, April 14th. So, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of whatever time zone you're in. Uh, we will see you in a few days or on Discord, because Discord's always an option. Yay! Have a great day, everyone. Bye, everybody.